Today's episode of Easy Publishing to the Central Repository, we're going to sign up for an account so that we get the permission granted to publish any components to our slice of the central repository defined by our namespace that we figured out in our last episode. You can see here the central.sonatype.org documentation website for the central repository and we're gonna follow on the link here to learn more about publishing my project and right here is a link to providing the project details that links over to a Jira issue tracking system that we use to track all the users and grant them the permissions respectively. Following the link I end up on the issue tracking system here and I need to sign up for a new account in order to be able to uh, create the ticket that will grant me the correct access. So I'll sign up here with my full name Manfred Moser and my email address and in this case my email address uses the domain name under which I'm also going to publish later and that makes it easier to sort out any access issues then. I will choose a username and I'll set myself a password and confirm the password and I also follow this capture here and I sign up for a new account. Now that I've signed up I can log in with my brand new account to create the issue that allows me to have a new project created and get access to the central repository's uh, specific namespace that I'm applying for. I can now provide further details. So I can say various open source projects, including uh, Android-Maven-Plugin, Progressive Organization, POM, and others, all in the Simplicility Simpli namespace. Looking down here, I can see the group, group ID going to be com simple agility. So that's my reverse domain name. I could also use my GitHub organizations space, but since I have a, my own domain name, I just use this. Here is the progressive organization POM, for example, in the simple agility organization. So this is one of the example URLs that I can use here for the project URL, as well as the organization POM. And we can amend this URL and SCM URL are examples. And last but not least, I need to provide the username that should get access. And in this case, this is just going to be me for now. But if I would be running an open source project with multiple committers and I would want to give them access rights to publish releases as well, or to publish snapshots and so on, I could provide multiple users here. So that's probably more typically in larger open source projects. And last but not least, I have to decide and let uh, the administrators know if this is already synced and I can create this issue. This is already it. The issue is now created with all the information I provided and I'm watching this issue. So any uh, changes or work that's starting on it by our ops team, in this case here, Joel, will uh, trigger email notifications to me so I'm kept up to date on what's going on and where things are at. Um, he will have an easy time because my email address uses the simplicity.com email address. The group ID uh, is the same with it and the project URLs already show commits of uh, myself with exactly that email address as well so everything hooks up. If it's not as easy for him to determine the project ownership, he will, so for example, you signed up with a Gmail address, but you want access to a domain name that um, you work at or an open source project for you uh, uh, belong to, then he might ask you for proof, for example, a purchase of a domain name that you're accessing or an email from the email address that uses the same domain name as you're accessing from, for example, your Apache email or your uh, company's email or whatever else. And uh, typically that's all very simply resolved. And then he will create the issues and you will ha have access to the central repository publishing to it via our OSSRH issues. How you then set all that up in your project is something we'll explore 
in our next episodes with a few tips and tricks, but it's already also documented very nicely on the central.sonotype.org website. Oh,